My style is jazz, my style is raw, graffiti on the wall. My style is the dope fiend nodding off in the corner. My style is the story of that guy's life because that guy was my neighbor. My style is my best friend when I'm a kid, his mother overdosing and him handling it like a man. Those things, they will go ignored if I don't say nothing about them. My name is Nasir Jones. I make music, hip hop music. Like I want to come on to, you know, after I'm introduced or whatever, I want to come on to that piano. You know, play that again. Maybe the first hip hop show I went to was in Queensbridge Park. I was young and my brother was young and it eventually got shot up. But before the, the mayhem, earlier that evening, MC Shan performed. When Shan touched the stage, it was serious. Never heard anything like that in my life. We had great aspirations to get into something that would change our lives. You know, I, I knew that that was the life for me. See, I think we should be doing the entire Life is Good album. Can I make a request? I'm coming to the show. I just want to hear it though. No. No. <laughs> Work all hard and it all boils down to one record. When I think of Nas, that's what I think of. Yeah. How, what was the concept behind that, that cover? You know, my era was the era of, you know, breaking it all down to what's the real. It wasn't about the star. It was about the man. They say this album changed hip hop because it was the first hip hop album with multiple big producers. It hadn't been done. Those four, Pete Rock, Lost Professor, Premier and Q-Tip were the greatest yeah. and are the greatest, so. You talk about Queensbridge all the time. Is Queensbridge sort of at the heart of, of your music? Yeah, Queensbridge is the heart of my music. i am describe it like this, broken glass all over the ground. Everywhere you looked, it was sparkling in the sun like diamonds in the street. Somehow that became just the normal gravel that you, you know, you learn to walk on. You had everything right there. A place that people hung out, played radios, played the music, hustled, went to work, went to school, uh, fought. Around the uh, early 90s, it was really out of control. Everyone had the hand on the gun. That was just the life we was living pretty fast. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll tell you right now, this, the, the, when we get this tight, yo, this ain't even fair. I might be able to retire off this album. Live with Barbecue was the first time you were ever on a song. What was that like when you first heard that? When I first heard Live at the Barbecue on the radio, I was just walking through my neighborhood and I saw a bunch of older guys. It was late night. As I'm walking by, I hear the song. And I'm like, wow, I'm telling some of the guys, that's me. But you know, the older, faded, they're halfway listening to me. So they're like, yeah, okay, cool. And they're going back to their conversation. They're not listening, but it didn't matter. I heard me. They walked back to my block. I was sort of in a daze, like, it's happening. Okay, it's happening. I'm in rap now. I'm, I'm a part of this rap thing. That was my dream, just that. So I'm like, all right, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. I've opened the door, the door has opened for me to have a chance to be heard and I will be a name known in this great thing called rap. My goal was to be the best, to change the game. I realized I could do that. At that point, I said, nah, no one could tell me anything now. 
I got it. I know what it takes. I got what it takes. Rock the Bells is a great show for rap fans. You get to see everybody from old school to the newest of the new. I always want to do something special with Rock the Bells. I, I feel a lot of excitement toward it. It's like, it's home for me. Recording Illmatic, it was just like, you know, God was over us, just like, yo, you know, this is just gonna be a masterpiece. If you wanna know what real hip hop is, you know, you can hear about breaking, graffiti, all of that, you know, in, in Nas's albums. And it's 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 dope, definitely. <laughs> it's it's a beautiful thing, like just years and years and years of growing lyrically, I I, I love it. PS 111 at school lunch, embarrassed managed to get a plate. We was kids hungry. Mom's working, I was famous, she getting home late. What's the difference between performing today versus performing in 1994? 1994, I didn't care what people thought about me. I didn't, I didn't care, I was standoffish. That meant on stage as well. And there wasn't into, I was fresh off the streets. I wasn't into being a performer. and and really trying to entertain you. I was like, who do y'all think y'all are? Around Nostradamus, I wasn't motivated like I was before. Biggie was gone, Pac was gone. I didn't see a reason to keep making music at that time. I needed some time off. Beginning, man. It's like a new beginning. It's a new beginning, though. For real. Cheers, like man. Today, I have a great appreciation for those people out there that got me here today. For the, the, the experience I had and the journey that I had. I want you to acknowledge something. You know who this is, some of you may know, some of you may not, a lot of you are young. This brother right here, his name is Lars Professor. This brother right here started a group called Main Source, early 90s. This brother right here gave a about me enough to give a 16 year old kid a shot in the studio and put me on that song, Live at the Barbecue. This is my dude. I feel like I could stop now and I'm totally satisfied. But I'm really happy that there's, there's something burning in me still to put out more. I love music, hip hop music, singing, whatever. I love music, that's still in me. That's, that burns in me. The rest is history. Growing up was fun. Growing up was adventurous. The community was packed with people. And home, the real, like, inside home was very creative because musical instruments was around the, the, the house or apartment. And so I, we definitely beat them up. We, we broke them, we played them. We had a bunch of fun with them. You know, my, my father is a creative guy and my mom was just the sweetest lady and, you know, pushed us to be the best we could be in whatever we wanted to be. She, she would instill that drive in us, and my father would um, have all kinds of crazy, creative things to talk about, you know. Is there anything you can look at and think you sort of were predestined to career of music? I would say since um, I can remember, you know, watching a great movie and a musical movie like Grease or um, watching the Jackson 5 cartoon or um, Kiss, the rock band, you know, so that looked like where all the action was.
I knew that that was the life for me, you know, being in front of audiences and I knew it, you know, you don't, you're not sure for real back then, but I prepared in my mind, I prepared for it. Earliest musical influences were um, probably jazz. Well, no, not jazz. I heard a lot of jazz growing up, but they were my early influences. It would have to be people like uh, Rick James, the Jackson Five, James Brown. Did you want to be them? Uh, they were like heroes. Yeah, I thought they were great. I didn't know if I, I don't know if I wanted to be them. Probably the Jackson Five. Yeah. 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 I think I wanted to be the Jackson Five too. <laughs> <laughs> you teach what what you have, what the Beatles have, what LeBron, Jordan. Is it? Can you go to Can you go to school and learn? Um, you can learn, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be the greatest. Someone could teach you all the things you need to know, but it's the individual. It's that individual, he, what he wants. How determined is he to take what he's learned and use it? You know, it's not what you're being taught. It's not who the teacher is all the time. It's the student. It's in, what's he made of. So I should probably give up? Nah, you're good. Definitely. I'm definitely a role model. Um, man, I, I know I'm here to inspire. I'm, I'm inspired by lots of people. I'm here to inspire. I know that. And I know I'm a role model. And I'm not perfect. No one is. I'm just me. And if I can help, if by watching me or listening to me can help you, then I'm doing my job. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my job, like God gave us this opportunity and I'm doing it.